Hi Virgo! How are you guys doing? This is going to be your reading for June 1st through June 15th for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you so much for all the private readings, the energy sessions, and the Instant Go contacts. I've just been so busy with you guys and you know, I'm loving supporting you on your journey and bringing through the messages and guidance that helps you. So if you do want a personal reading, the link is below. It'll take you to my website with the different options available for you. There's kind of something there at all different price points, um, depending on what, what you want. Uh, you can also find me on Instant Go, which is a really fast way to send me a message and get a quick answer or reply to um, a question that you have. Uh, so the link for Instant Go is below. Also, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance um, therapy. So that means it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I have clients all over the place and the, you know, the sessions are just as powerful. So the link for my website is below. I have a great 15% off for first time clients. And to be honest, right now is the best time to be getting an energy session because there's so much change and growth that is happening. Um, I've been so busy uh, doing these sessions lately because people are just like recalibrating almost with the, the changes going on um, really all over the place. So, you know, even just one session can leave you feeling much more balanced and peaceful and grounded within yourself. Um, I will balance and align all of your chakras and help release any emotions or challenges that are you know, in the way or keeping you from making decisions or choosing things in your life. And uh, you'll just be feeling much, much better and, and more in alignment with yourself. So um, it's a really beautiful process. So again, the link is below. It'll take you to my website. Um, you can read the testimonials and send me an email if you have questions or, you know, you're curious. Uh, that is fine too. So I'm curious how you're feeling since this Sagittarius full moon that we just had on May 29th. That was a powerful one. Um, and we're building to the new moon in Gemini, which will be on June 13th. So June's kind of a big month. I feel like it's a, a, like a bridge month in between. May was a lot of growth and expansion. And then July, we're moving into eclipse season. So I feel like What's happening in June is kind of preparing us for what's coming with all the eclipses coming up. So, um, and also most of my readings, none of them have gone, maybe like one or two have gone towards love. They've all been very much about like the individual journey. Um, even though re the relationships and the love is still there, it's like people are really just focused on themselves right now and growing within. So um, let's see what we've got for you guys today. Virgo, June 1st, June 15th. All right, Virgo. So I feel like you guys are really... You've had an interesting year with a lot of growth, but I definitely feel like you're right on track. You're right where you need to be. You've got the support of the universe. Um, everything's happening in divine timing. You know, this card for me is very much the clock of the universe, and it's not up to us. It's up to the universe to decide when and what happens, um, you know, in it, on its own time. So it's just really... I feel like, you know, Virgos, you very much like to be in control and like know what's happening. And I feel like this is just a reminder to surrender a little bit and really just trust the process. So try to let go of some of the control, which I know can be really, really hard for you, but it's going to bring you the most peace. Okay. So I feel like that is like a message that you really needed to hear. We've also got the moon card. <laughs> I feel like giving up control kind of brings you a little bit of fear and anxiety. <laughs> That's what I just got. So the moon card can be our fears and anxiety. It is hard to trust the universe. It is very hard to let go. I'm not saying that's easy. I have a hard time with it too. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it's very, very necessary. Um, I also feel that, you know, the moon card, this is very much your deepest desires and what you want at a subconscious level. 
which if you are able to give up the control and trust, then I feel like your deepest inner desires are able to come through. They're able to come through. But yeah, I'm, just, I'm really being guided to say it again is to try to slip more into your like feminine energy of receiving and trusting and and not so much in like the masculine energy which is very aggressive and take charge so really like find that balance <clears throat> ah now i know why i'm saying that because you have a very powerful masculine person coming in for you <laughs> So king of pentacles, king of coins. Again, this can be male or female, but I am feeling that the energy around this for you is quite masculine. So um, you'll really need, if you're in your masculine, masculine energy and this masculine person comes in, it's just like it doesn't flow. So I think that's why the message is here. Uh, to kind of have you be aware of that. But the, <clears throat> the king of coins is pretty solid. I mean, he's a long-term thinker. He does not build things short-term. He's not wishy-washy. So whoever's coming in for you, I think is going to be pretty solid and kind of a big deal. So you really need to just let go and trust and not try to control this situation. What else do Virgos need to know? <laughs> oh, I love it, right? As I'm saying, I feel like this is what you guys are being asked to be like, okay? The more intuitive, emotional, feminine energy, the Queen of Cups here, because this is like a perfect match for this King of Pentacles. So, I know you guys are an earth sign, but I'm really feeling this is more of the energy that June is asking you to be in. So, um, again, just trust the process and really surrender. I just, I keep feeling that word come through to you, Virgos, let go and surrender and really let the universe bring in what it wants to bring in for you because it's looking really beautiful. We've got the 10 of coins here. So this is the kind of love and life that the king of coins builds, okay? He doesn't mess around. So if you look at this, would you give up in surrender and give up your control to have this, Virgo? I mean, this is like a beautiful, very balanced life. So that's what you have waiting for you. So take the time that you need to have your little fears and anxieties, but just keep trusting the process because you're moving forward. I feel like this, this partnership is going to be just very giving. Um, you guys are going to be quite balanced. You know, I've got the scales here. Again, really, I'm just feeling the balance between masculine and feminine energy for you in these first couple weeks of June which I don't think I have felt this energy for you guys, Virgo, like this whole year that I've been doing readings for you. So all the hard work that you've gone through has been really, really positive. Um, and good job for that. But yeah, you're going to be in just a balanced place of giving and receiving. Um, very like generous. I feel like you're going to be quite generous and this partner is going to be quite generous for you. What else do Virgos need? Okay, <laughs> here comes in the universe. Are you trying to gain control again? Don't do it. Don't do it, Virgo. The justice card. Don't try to get, take back control of the situation and step into your masculine energy. I mean, the justice card is very much about like authority and laying down the law and like being in charge almost. It can also be, you know, a Libra card, so you may be dealing with a Libra, but I'm more so feeling it's the energy of this card that, you know, you're in this beautiful partnership that wants to give and you're receiving and you're in your like feminine um, flow and energy and then you kind of get scared. 
<laughs> I feel like you kind of get scared and feel like you want to take back the control again. So don't do that, okay? Don't try to take back the control. They've also got the, um, the King of Wands here. Yeah, so I, if, if you get back into this very controlling energy, your King of Coins is going to fall backwards into, you know, the King of Wands of more just like the passion and just more of like a physical relationship versus really like taking charge in the relationship. Does that make sense? So if you start to take back the control and take, you know, start to be more of the king of coins energy, he's going to slip backwards and be less, um, less masculine for you. You know, the king of wands is very passionate. He's still masculine, but it's like, it's more, it's more physical. Um, where the, the king of coins is, you know, kind of all well-rounded, solid, you know, taking control of the relationship. But I've also got the Ten of, of Wands here, so <laughs> I feel like you're just, you're really having a hard time and it's making you get overwhelmed and like take on too much, but I don't think that's the message for you. I really think the message is like to relax and let go so you don't end up here. It's not your job to carry all the burdens and all the everything of a relationship. But, you know, being in this feminine energy may be a new thing for you. So you're feeling like you need to grab onto something and have control of something. But you don't. You don't have to take this on. You literally can stay in this beautiful, peaceful intuitive receiving energy you don't have to go here this is a choice it's totally a choice and i feel like that's what that's warning you because now that i'm looking at it you know if you take on this justice energy this like powerful energy and your partner is going to slip more out of that role, then it's going to force you to feel like you have to now pick up the slack of the relationship because the balance of masculine and feminine is off. So now it's like you're picking up the slack. I don't know if that is making sense or resonating with you. Um, so just take this as a warning to not go here. Really focus on staying in that receiving energy. Okay. And I just... I'm so curious. You'll have to leave me comments below. I, I can't respond to all the comments, but I do read them and I love them. So thank you for, for that. I'm just going to see if there's any last message for you, Virgo. June 1st through the 15th. <laughs> I love it when the cards just make so much sense. So playfulness which again is a very feminine, lighthearted energy. It's not heavy, it's not controlling. So I guess I didn't say it enough. You needed one more message to just give up the control, really just surrender. Life is way more fun in this energy anyways. So I hope that message comes through to you. Again, leave me some comments. Um, if it didn't resonate with you, you can watch your moon sign or your rising sign. And if you want to go deeper into your personal situation, I would love to do a reading for you. So the link is below and it's going to take you right to my website uh, where you can book a session. Okay, so that's it for now, Virgo. I will see you for the second half of June readings. Okay, bye.